I started writing my new book to explore the connection between the health of oceans and our own health, especially, I have to admit, my health. The kid who loved to fish is now a middle-aged man. I've got slightly elevated blood pressure. I've got cholesterol issues. I have depression issues. I have sleep issues. And I don't like it. In fact, I hate it. So I started to listen to the soft purr of the omega-3 industry. This is everything they're supposed to fix. They say it's what makes your joints more youthful, your brain quicker, your heart more resilient. A kind of elixir, if you believe in that sort of thing. But I'm not sure what I believe. So I thought, what if I did a study of one and ate only fish every meal every day for a year? What would happen? We're Jewish, right? Somebody was asking me, like, do we believe in heaven? Not really, right? Well, um, yeah. I'm, I, I, we don't have to go into it. But all I'm saying is, is that this Omega thing, to me, feels a little bit like the promise of the afterlife. Like, you won't know it till you're there. Yeah. And we won't know about the Omega-3 yeah, well, thing till we're dead. <laughs> well, 50% of people don't know they have heart disease until they suddenly die. Uh, yeah, you want to hear the first line of the book? Yeah. I'll tell you. A little while back, I learned from an H, oh, sorry, a little while back, I learned from an eminent cardiologist that half of all patients first report heart disease to their doctors by dropping dead. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> I have no yeah. intention of doing that. Um, so I began my year of eating fish. Sometimes Esther and Luke would join me, but mostly I'd be on my fishy own. Tonight, it's tomato anchovy sauce over pasta and some little snapper blues Luke and I just caught. These are some of the oiliest fish around, rich in omega-3s. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm really excited about the, uh, the snappers. Over the weeks and months to come, I'd keep at it every meal. A smoked mackerel on a bagel. Wild sockeye from Alaska. Grilled yellowfin niçoise. Teriyaki farmed salmon. A new kind of shrimp grown indoors in a warehouse upstate. Only some very, people. Very few. 60? All of them tell a story, where they came from, and how they ended up on my plate. <laughs> 